It is a stressful environment. If anyone says it isn't, I think they're, they're silly to say that. It's constantly, you're constantly like on the lookout. You know what I mean? You're in prison. It's not a nice place. I'm speaking to you now from inside the confines of Mountjoy Jail. This jail dates from 1850, so next year, 2020, will mark its 170th anniversary. Uh, when you look at the gate behind me, well, it's been here from the very beginning, and there's a lot of old stone buildings around. But believe it or not, behind the facade of these stone buildings, pretty much everything has changed. We're in what's known as the circle path, okay? So it's the, it's the command area for the, the main prison in Mount Joy. So it's a very old prison, um, but it has been refurbished in recent years. And I suppose the standard of accommodation, while looking old, is quite good. We've about 460 prisoners in here today. Um, we have two wings which are protection prisoners. And now what does protection mean? So protection means that a prisoner who has requested protection or we may have put him on protection for information we have in relation to he may be in danger, he may have said he owes money in the community or he's involved in a, 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 a gang related activity and he has requested protection for that reason so we take him to an area where he's, he is guaranteed his safety. So you have to analyse the background of each and every prisoner coming in to see whether they need protection which gang they might be affiliated with before you can decide where they go. Each prisoner is seen by a governor and a chief officer on committal and we'll have a fairly comprehensive risk assessment. Uh, we call it the committal interview and we'll go through a series of questions in relation to, first of all, the nature of the sentence and that will they appeal the sentence, do the family know they're here, do they need to contact anybody, all of those kind of questions and then we'll get to the information in relation to are they in conflict with anybody in the community and usually they're reluctant to tell you who they're fighting with but we explain that the reality is we ask these questions so we ask these questions so we know we can keep them safe. So the story of the old triangle, yeah. I mean, uh, the old triangle went jingle jangle along that's the banks of the Royal Canal and that's it. That is the old triangle. That's it. Now my understanding was there was a, a chief officer, a very infamous chief officer here, who used to ring the old triangle every Sunday morning for mass. So that was the, the, the objective of it as far as I know. So we're in our committal unit, Pat. we have 22 cells here, they're all single cells. As I say, prisoners will spend one night here, giving them an opportunity to, to acclimatise themselves. All right, let's, let's go into the cell and uh, have a look. It's very basic, you have a bed and a mattress, a toilet, a wash and basin, mirror and a TV in the cell behind you. Some people would talk about TVs and cells, I mean a TV is a very basic commodity now. Uh, TVs were introduced into cells uh, probably about 20 years ago I'd say now, and they were transformative at the time because uh, Self-harm was a big issue in prison, boredom, people sitting in a cell, so the TV has always been, it's like company in the cell for, for, for a prisoner. So. And how many channels do they have on the telly? They have only terrestrial channels, so I must stress that, we do not have Sky Sports. This is what's known as our challenging behaviour unit, okay, so this would be where prisoners who have been involved in incidents, who may be, uh, uh, may be detained under Rule 62, which is a rule that we apply when prisoners are engaged in counterproductive activity or they may be causing difficulties within the main prison, so we would detain them here for a period of time. You heard the prisoner talking out to you, so he may have been engaged in something during the week and he'll come down here, it's like a cooling off area. Initially, when I first came up to the school, it would have been just to get out of the yard and get off the wings and all that. But as I settled in over the years, I, um, I got more interested in education and all that. You need to show that you're progressing and you want to progress. So that was the start of something new for me because I wouldn't have had a good education background on the outside. The teachers are great, they are. That's, that's one of the main reasons why you do come back up. They're very compassionate with us, you know. I think the staff know and heard that have been keeping you nose clean and staying out of trouble and all, but it's a different case on the outside, isn't it? It's hard. I, like, I see psychology and all that. I think it's vital that you get to see the likes of them on here because things can just escalate and we're not wearing hair. It just, it just happens like that, you know? It's, it's daily life in prison. You just have to be able to deal with it. I'm so accustomed to the, the prison and the, and the ways of prison now at this stage. You know, I'm in, I'm in over 10 years. So it's unfortunate. You know, I had to take a, a negative and turn it into a positive, you know? 
Prison is a, is a difficult place to be. It's You put in, today we have 685 prisoners, all of a particular age, don't want to be here. You know, there's, there's all the dynamics of putting 685 men in a, in, a, in a confined area. The problems that are in the community spill over into prison, so if there are issues going on with gangs or whatever it might be in the community, we have to contend with that in prison. So prison is a difficult place. Anybody that would think otherwise is mistaken. Prison and the probation service do a particular role and we provide rehabilitation, addiction service and all that. But if they're not in the community when people are released, and almost every prisoner will be released, if they're not released to support, that whole cycle continues on. The last time I visited Mountjoy Prison, I didn't think there would be a next time. I thought that if I'm going to meet prisoners who are rehabilitating, I'm going to be doing so in North County Dublin in Thornton Hall. Of course, we now know that will never happen. But perhaps that's a good thing, because the latest philosophy on incarceration is that it should be within the community which has produced the occupants of a prison like Mount Joy. It looks the same as it did perhaps 170 years ago. Inside, everything is very much changed. I found the visit very interesting, very educational, and in a strange way, humbling because there are almost 700 men inside there this evening who will be locked up before they sleep, whereas I, well, I can go home.